So does anyone here like boats? Huh? Huh? All right, anyone ever done research on a boat? Huh? New to Brent guy. All right, well, I've actually done that too, off the coast of Hawaii. And uh, after about a little while at sea with 38 microbiologists being the only geologist, you start to get really excited when you see animals. And uh, just before the end of our month at sea, 3 a.m., uh, we see a fish come onto the submersible's monitor. And it's shaped like a guitar. And I said to the biologist, microbiologist on my left, hey, 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 what's that? I don't do macrofauna. <laughs> OK, <laughs> well then, so. My obvious response to this, this serious problem is to go out and get every curious person's dream job. I now run a research organization called Blueprint Earth. We have teams of geologists, biologists, hydrologists, atmospheric scientists, and even engineers joining forces in our first target area in the Mojave Desert of California. The goal of what we're doing is to try to understand the functions of these in, this environment in particular so well at both a micro and a macro level that we can actually recreate the environment in a controlled setting. So yeah, build a desert in a box. So the cool things about my job are that I get to actually watch scientists teaching the next generation, the students, the underrepresented students, of which we have a lot. We, I get to watch them in the field learning hands-on research techniques from some of the best scientists in the business. I also get to see these same scientists collaborating with people in other fields that they never would have talked to normally. And my favorite part of my job is when I get to teach a biologist how to use a rock hammer. <laughs> it's awesome, or if I'm really corny, it rocks. So what is the point, right? It sounds cool, but what's the point? Well, if any of you are familiar with Haiti and the Dominican Republic, two sides of the same island. Haiti, completely deforested. Dominican Republic, lush green paradise. If we can blueprint sections of the planet so well that we understand how everything is related, we can blueprint the Dominican Republic and reforest Haiti. Or we are building such an amazing wealth of knowledge with the, all these different disciplines and all these environments, starting with the desert and progressing outwards, that we are going to be able to use what we've gained to then explore other worlds. So remember the guitar fish from the beginning? That's exactly what it was called. It's a guitar fish. <laughs> Clever. So what I'm really here today to remind all of us, all of the curious people sitting in front of me, is not to lose sight of the guitar fish because you're busy chasing microbes. And to borrow a phrase, stay curious, my friends. <laughs> so. <laughs>